Have you ever felt that some of your code is not ideal, but you are afraid to refactor it and to change it because you may break it? In this video, I will show you exact example how we did it with one of our demo projects and one thing that would help you in any refactoring. So let's go. Here we have a demo project of School Calendar. So this one was released pretty recently on GitHub and it's working. Uh, you can check it out. I will link it in the description. And it was created by my teammate Marius. Uh, and later I found out and I've noticed not ideal code in the blade. So in Calendar Blade, uh, first I've noticed at PHP blade directive command which is kind of a bad practice. If you need PHP code inside of your blade, it means something is wrong. Logic should not be here. And on top of that, there are a few more places where view contains the logic. So some filtering for start time, difference calculations, again, lessons where here, and it all works. But in ideal scenario, the logic should be somewhere else, either in controller or if it's too much, then in model or in service. And I asked Marius to refactor it. but how can you make sure that this pretty complex piece of code would actually work after refactoring? How do you test all the cases? And in our case, it's a calendar that can be viewed by administrator, by teacher, by student. So if you have a situation like that, my first and only advice is to write automated tests. Even if you don't have any tests in your project until now, or even if you don't write tests at all, it's pretty easy to start testing for really simple scenarios like this one. And I will show you how. So before Marius refactored that code, I wrote a few tests. So I created calendar test. Actually, I will show you a GitHub commit I've done. So there was in the project, there were no tests at all. Uh, and there was just a feature example test. So I've deleted that one. Actually, I've opened that one and then did file save as and created calendar test. And this test, basically what it does is create some rows and admins, so data to test, then loads the URL, loads the page, admin calendar, acting as admin user, and then asserts successful, which means it returns 200 status code, means no errors. So no 500, no 404, nothing. Assert successful is the same as assert status 200. Uh, so that is the most simple case and the most simple test that you can write. And it doesn't require any deep knowledge of unit testing, feature testing, what is the details of how testing works. Important thing with that, if you are doing some database operations in your test and you probably want to use a refresh database, which means it deletes all the database before running tests, be very careful with that and launch tests on separate database. And I will show you how in the same commit. Actually, here you have phpunit.xml, specify db connection, which is some non-MySQL, non-your default connection, and then create that connection in config database. So I've just copied MySQL into MySQL testing, and that database name is different. On the same server with same username and password, but just different database. And then I've even fixed it a bit more to have env variable database testing. So Marius on his computer or in other server, someone could just change this variable in .env without committing anything to the code. So we have testing database. And again, on that testing database, we create everything that we need. And for this project, we need one role, we need one user admin, and we just load the calendar, which should be empty by now. And we assert that everything is successful. And the way to launch the test is you go to your terminal and launch vendor bin php unit or just php unit if you have a shortcut somewhere so it goes through the test and i have more tests inside of it but we have three tests and five assertions green and dots means no errors so that is a good result of test uh, as i said i have a few more tests so this is more complicated test that calendar page shows lesson for teacher so here i create some more data so I create a class, I create a teacher, I create a role first, I create a teacher, I attach a role, I create a lesson, and then acting as teacher, I get the same URL and assert means check. I check not only that it's successful, but I see the text of school class name, which means that visually class name is visible somewhere here. And here you can go much deeper. You can test many more things, whether they are visible or correct or not broken, something like that real life testing suite would be much broader, but it's really easy to start. So that's my overall point of this lesson. 
So before you refactor anything, before you are touching the code that you were scared to touch, write a few tests for the most important things that you want to work. And as an example, I can open that code and break something. For example, in calendar controller, let's make a typo and let's launch the same unit and it should break F because response status code is 500. So in case that during refactoring you make some mistakes, you make some typos, unit tests will actually help you. And now I will show you the result. So Marius uh, refactored thing. It was quite a big refactoring because blade file, I asked him basically, so the blade would be much shorter and controller would be much shorter and whole logic should be somewhere else. In this case, in service. So he removed PHP, he removed uh, this, he removed uh, this else complex. So all that's left is this in PHP Storm. So just for each if and no logic. That's the whole thing of views. Views should not contain the logic. They just need to show the data passed by a controller. And also controller is only two lines of code. And previously it was like five lines with a bit more complex logic. So he created calendar service and put all the logic, if we go back to GitHub, in here. Pretty complex calculations, but that's the whole point. You refactor something, a big piece of code, pretty complex, but tests, that's what help you to be more confident in your code before and after refactoring. And if you did something wrong, then tests will show you. Of course, it depends on how much tests you write, how complex they are, did you cover all the cases or not, but my overall message to you is start writing any tests, and even if you don't have any tests in your project, it's never too late to start, and whenever you feel like refactoring something, do yourself a service and write test first. And I really enjoyed, uh, during Laracon Online, there was a talk by Jason J. Mack about unit testing as one of the topics, and he said that you write unit tests not to reach 100% test coverage, as, as they say, or as many tests as possible, but you write tests for confidence. If you are confident enough in that part of the code, in the future it really, really helps a lot. So the more things you need to change down the road, tests is the foundation that will help you to maintain the project, to deliver new feature, to refactor, to pivot the whole project, tests will help you in the long run. So if you expect the project to survive years ahead, even months, tests will definitely help. And also I created a full course, how to start with PHP unit tests. This video wasn't meant to be advertising of that course, but I will mention that anyway. So I will link in the description, uh, I think it's called how to start unit testing in Laravel or PHP unit in Laravel, something like that. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any ideas for more videos, comment in the YouTube below and see you guys in other videos.